Welcome to the Workshop Studio and Microbrewery channel. I am your host Leo J. Bailey and today is going to be a brew day. Uh, first, I need to apologize to my boys Charlie, Chris, and Heath. Nothing against you fellas, but we got new gear. I want to get the stuff kind of tested out, put together today before we move forward. If you saw any of my previous posts, I talked about how I've been going nuts with saturation temps. I'm not getting where I want to be, so we have this. Um, ordered this, came in the mail today. I have to put this together, get everything going. It is an electric brew pot. It is four and a half gallons. I only need it for three, and we're hopefully going to saturate. I'm going to brew today a straight up standard, very basic IPA, an American IPA. Um, I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. I'll have pictures and stuff as we go, and I'll film throughout today's complete brewing process, and let's see if this ends up getting us a little bit better. We're dealing with about the end of February. We have our next show coming up at the end of March. I haven't pulled the trigger on a date yet. That's coming real soon. So I'm going to put this together, um, take some pictures along the way, and then when I start brewing, we'll have another chat here in a second, and... Let's hope for the best, people, because I spent some money on this damn thing. Um, so let's go with that. Rock and roll. See, oh, today's soundtrack is going to be brought to you by Ted Nugent. I have an album that I purchased at the uh, flea market. Uh, God, I paid four bucks for it, man. It's free for all. It's, it's an exceptional album. You might be hearing that in the background from time to time. So let's dig on it, people. I hope you all enjoy it. I'll make this a quick two, three-minute video. Get it all done. Rock and roll. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to get my last gallon and a half, get this poured in. So far I've not noticed any leaks, nothing of that nature. I got my three gallons. It is, yep, beautifully marked on the inside as well. I dig that. Okay, so the saturation of my grains for this is going to be at 150 degrees. I need to get this heated up. I haven't even started anything yet, so we're going to see what happens. First off, turn it on. I haven't even done any of this yet. So, we're going to get it. Turn it on. Screen is a little weird, but I'm seeing... Let's see if we can get this thing set. Ah, set. I'm going to go down to 150. We're going to try 152. Initially, because I want all right, so she's heating up. She's at a full 1600 watt. Eventually, we're going to shift it back down to the 600 watt in order to maintain. And I will reset it to 150. When I add the grains, I'm hoping I'll get that two degree drop. It's heating. Everything seems to be working. I got grains to get ground up. Everything to get ready. I got sanitizing to do later. Measurements and all that. Hopefully you can hear that on camera. She's already at 106. We'll get her at 152. We're going to put our grains in and get going so far. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this is going to go well. Alright, we're going to crank some tunes up. I got work to do. Let's get on it.
people, as you can tell, we are at the beginning stages of boiling. We're going to get this puppy going here in a little bit. I've seen a little bit of footage anyway of my silliness. Uh, the gigawart worked out fairly well. I got a little bit of need to tweak. The range of temperature is a little more than I was expecting, but it is about 75% better than what I've ever had before, so that worked. Um, let's talk a little bit about the brew today, which I didn't go into too much detail. It is a very basic American IPA. It has about 86% two row. As far as our malt bill, it has 11% caramel crystal 20. And as is a habit of mine, because I happen to be a big fan of honey malt, I've got about 7% of honey malt in this as well. It is going to be fairly hopped. I know a lot of my guys aren't big into IPAs. I've about had it with you people. I need to have me an IPA. As a matter of fact, when you're brewing an IPA, you drink an IPA. This is a Trogues Perpetual IPA. It's an Imperial Pale Ale. It comes in about 7.5%. It has already got my attention and about 85 IBUs. It is bitter and it is freaking beautiful. But uh, this will probably come in at about 6.5%. We're looking at eh, 60, 65 IBUs tops. It should turn out well according to the, all the numbers that I've had so far. We shall see. I'll give you a little bit more detail on that later. Um, we don't start our hop edition until about the 45 minute mark. And we have not started boiling yet. It is a little weird to be out here boiling and brewing at the end of freaking February. It's starting to get a little chilly now. I got a little bit of a breeze. I hope that knocks it the hell off so that I can get this done today and then we'll chill it. We're gonna pitch some yeast. Uh, it's a California White Labs. Pretty much straight up liquid yeast. Um, I'll show you a picture of the whole recipe later or if I haven't already. So far things are going really well. I'm digging the crap out of it. So, so far I feel really good about the new Gigawart brewer. I don't ever want to brew a whole damn beer with it, but as far as saturation temps, I think it'll work out really well. I got to dial it in a little bit. Other than that, hey, we're kicking ass. I'll take some more video, but by the time we're done, of course, when we're pitching some hops, I got a full two ounces of Centennial in this bad boy. So, yeah, you'll get to see that here in a little bit. We're getting closer. See ya. edition we are five minutes out we're gonna finish this up we're gonna take it in I'll show you some footage I'm gonna chill it down I'm gonna pitch yeast I'm gonna get this thing into a fermenter and I'll have some closing words man so everybody hang out a little bit Whew! it has been a day oh by the way hold on Since I, shit, and it got dark in a fucking hurry. I ran out of Trogues, so I'm down to one of my own. This is a brown ale that I made. It was supposed to be a maple brown ale. Turned into more of a light brown, but it's still doable. Um, it has actually gotten better over time, as most damn good beers do, so. Mm. Frosted mug, cheers. We'll see you guys on the other side. We'll do a couple things and then we'll have a chat. See ya.
Hey people, how you doing? Look, we got things wrapped up today. I'm very, very happy with how things turned out. As I mentioned before, we did an American IPA, straight up, very simple, nothing flashy, heavy on the hops, all centennial, a lot of two row, a um, little bit of uh, Crystal Caramel 20, and just a tiny bit of Honey Malt. Two full ounces, four different hop editions of Centennial Hops. So far, I believe everything has worked out. We definitely have improved with the saturation temps. There's still a little bit of a range. A little more than I was expecting, but definitely tons better than what I had. No more than about an 8 degree swing, one way or the other. I really, really wish that it was tighter. I might look at insulating the brew kettle, um, which I have something coming um, anyway. We drank some Trogues. We've been cranking just freaking Ted has been ripping today. Hey, trivia note. Did you know that Meat Loaf sang on two songs on this album? Bet you didn't know that. I never knew it either until I bought the damn album again, what, 76 is only 25, 45 years later? I don't know what to tell you. Hey, cheers people. So far, I think things are pretty good. We hit, and I do mean drilled, the original gravity at 1.062. That is our sweet wort. It smells sweet. I like the flavor of that. I think there's going to be really, really good things to come of this. I truly, truly do. So, as it stands right now, we have a red ale that is one full week into fermentation. We have our American IPA that just got started. I'm hoping to be able to give you a date on the next studio session. Not Stu, what the hell am I talking? The micro sessions. The micro sessions are going to come up at the end of March. Hopefully we'll get the whole damn gang in here. As it stands right now, I would like to invade Escutcheon Brewing. Those are my plans. When I post this video, I'm hoping to tag Lori and John, and hopefully they will be okay with what we're going to do. We'll get the whole brew crew and anybody else that's interested in going. We'll go pick a brew, and we'll decide on one of the two beers that I just did. It might not even be the IPA. I might just save this some bitch just for me. So there. And anybody else that likes an IPA. Mark T., I know you're always a fan. I will certainly save something for you. Hey, I'm tired. I've cleaned up. Things are done. I'm going to tap this son of a bitch. Y'all have a damn fine evening. And I don't care what the fuck anybody says. Ted Nugent rocks. So piss off. Ah, Uncle Ted's the man. Cheers. Cheers.